my loves and welcome back to my channel if you are brand new my name is Loie and today we are going to be looking at some stuff that I recently bought on Sephora well on Sephora.com because I hate shopping in store at Sephora I feel like they never have a very good selection in store so I always like to shop online and also I get the added benefit of a lot of these products that I specifically shop for today are some of the weirder things that you can get from Sephora like I specifically went shopping for the most unique and bizarre beauty products I could find, and I definitely think I found some. I mean, some of this haul is gonna be pretty standard, like products I use on the daily that I ran out of, but some of it is going to be extremely weird. So if you guys are excited about this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out so, so much when you like and comment and subscribe, so do any and all of those things if you are so inclined. And I'm just gonna get into the haul. The first thing, because I cannot take another minute of my life without telling you guys about this. What the heck? So this is Moschino, I hope that's how you actually say that. Moschino, Moschino, Fresh Couture Eau de Toilette. And this is literally the perfume bottle. When I first saw this, I really hoped that it would be sprayable, like the cap of the bottle was sprayable, but no, it's just obviously the packaging. You take off the cap and then there's a little perfume gadget. On the back it says, works great on at work, on a date, to a formal event, and much more. And then um, it, it literally looks like a cleaning bottle. Like, do you guys see that? I think it's so, so cute and unique and weird. And I literally bought it without even smelling it. And then I got it here and it smells so good. Like, and I'm not just saying that because obviously like it's the coolest bottle ever, hello. I got the 3.4 fluid ounce just because I thought the bottle was so cool. But I really like the scent of this perfume. It's very fresh. It does have a bit of floral to it, but it's almost kind of like citrusy. Like the citrus really breaks it up and keeps it from being like grandma perfume status. You know what I mean? Um, like some of you who've smelled like those really, really floral perfumes will know what I'm saying. But I love everything about it. The only thing I don't like is I did test it out today for the first time and I had to reapply it after about four hours. I really couldn't smell it on myself anymore. And I would say it's been another four hours and I can't smell it at all. So I'm gonna spray it again just because I do love it. It would be good for like a day when you don't need it to last all day. Like it's not very strong. So even though I love the bottle, I love the perfume, don't get me wrong. Um, just know it doesn't have the best lasting power. So either pack it in your purse to go. I mean, there's absolutely no shame in whipping this out and reapplying it over the course of the day. I think it's so cool. Um, but yeah, just something to know. I love the way it smells, but it doesn't have the best staying power. So on to the next product. So not gonna lie, this next purchase was based entirely on Shan XO's video on it. She made an entire video on these and I was just like, robot makeup brushes? Like, yes please, I will get that in my life. So this is the Blend Smart Starter Set and this includes the foundation brush and I also did buy the blush brush. So these are both from the brand Blend Smart. Oh my god, that's a tongue twister. And essentially it's like a robo makeup brush that uh, blends for you apparently and I'm really excited. I'm gonna do a whole video on this bad boy, I think. So you can see it comes with like the base attachment, one of the brushes to ap apply, <laughs> to um, pop into that and then just a battery. That is one heck of a battery. And then I did get, obviously, a second brush. So we're gonna take a look at the blush brush. Ooh, that's not usually a brush I would use to apply my blush. It's more of like a flat, it's a, no, it's really not very rounded. It's like a flat cut kabuki, but it's so soft. So I will definitely, definitely give this bad boy a try and make like a whole video on what I think if it's worth it because it was an extremely, extremely expensive product. Um, and I mean, if it's not worth that, then I don't want you guys to spend your money. I'm gonna take a quick look at the foundation brush as well. This is the handle, by the way. So you just unscrew this, you pop the battery into this and it has like an on off switch and then you pop the brushes into the top. But the foundation brush is just like a dual fiber sort of stippling brush, but it's very, very dense. So I do think it will do a good job in terms of like applying products. So stay tuned for my video on that. I'm really excited. I'm gonna sprinkle some of my more normal products in between these weird ones, because trust me, there are more weird ones that I bought. But I did get the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Um, this is my favorite primer of all time. It has coconut water. I go through like one of these every six months, I would say. It keeps on my makeup so well. It applies so nicely to the skin and just gives you a very, very smooth base to put foundation on top of. It's so expensive, but I really do think that it's worth it. It's like the only primer I've used for the last year. I mean, I've used others, but I just keep going back to it. Something I wanted to try that's new is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. And I was so back and forth with this. I was like, girl, you don't need another eyeshadow palette, but simultaneously, these are shades your girl loves. I just really like 
those warm tones, those reds, those golds over here. And then when I got it in person, I was like, wow, that's a little bit more dramatic. Like, it really is very, very red based. It's warm, but more red than orangey, which is kind of what I was expecting. I just spilt Rockstar all over my Sephora back. And if you're sitting there thinking, Loie, I have never once heard you talk about drinking energy drinks, it's because this is very new and probably a very bad habit. It's just because I've been so busy and like, we're moving and I'm trying to film for you guys and I'm doing a lot of work stuff. It's like 10.30 and I just wanna to talk to you, so I'm trying to stay awake at the moment. But I did wanna say, this is kinda of cheating, this is the only product you can't currently get at Sephora, um, but I do feel like it's obviously a high-end product and it's so, Similar in some ways to that Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette that I did want to talk about it really quickly This is the Lorac Pro 3 palette now if you were not already aware the Lorac Pro eyeshadow formula is my favorite eyeshadow formula of all time. Those are like my holy grail palettes. I cannot live without them. The Lorac Pro 1 palette I travel with constantly. So when I saw that this one came out and it's a little bit more warm toned, especially like here towards the end and you've got some really fun like pops of jewel tones down here, I was just really excited. And I feel like this is somewhat comparable to the Modern Renaissance palette just because it's still warm, but I think it's more neutral than anything. It's kind of more so what I was expecting Modern Re Renaissance <laughs> to be with without like pops of orangey or pops of red. So I really, really liked this. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful palette and I will totally be using it in some tutorials coming up. Um, this formula is amazing and you can get it at Ulta, but I just wanted to throw it in there as kind of like an option if you were seeing that palette and you were like, well, maybe I want something more neutral. I got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light and I think that Jaclyn Hill must have talked about this because I do everything that girl tells me to. And I think that this is a very beautiful, kind of more natural highlight. It's more champagne than what I'm used to. I tend to go for very, very stark, like gold or white highlights, but this one's more natural. It's more of like an everyday wearable highlight where it's not like, oh, let me beam myself up to the alien. Let the highlight be seen by NASA. This is much more subtle and really, really pretty. So I'm glad I picked it up. It was hella expensive so expensive. But I will say that this hourglass formula is really beautiful. It's so finely milled. It just doesn't pack that punch I'm used to. And I was kind of disappointed with hourglass as a brand previously. I had tried some of their blushes and I was like, these suck. But it's just because they're meant to be more natural. They're not meant to be like in your face pigmented, apparently punching you out. I don't know. Another somewhat strange product that I picked up, and this is not because I have any issues with my bum, it's because I was just really curious. It is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is infused naturally with all powerful guarana extract. Um, and here it says massage in a circular motion to create warmth for better absorption and circulation for your bum bum legs, tummy, arms, and all over the body. I was reading reviews and people were saying like this is number one, the most moisturizing lotion they'd ever tried in their entire life. It is just again so expensive. Um, but I was really interested in trying it to see if it actually did like firm things up because you know like being plus size, I definitely have jiggly thighs and a jiggly butt. So I was just really curious to see how it did. And I just thought, oh my God, number one, it smells so good. I just thought that would be interesting to try this out because it is so expensive that I just, I wonder if a lotion can be worth that or if any effects that it has are more than just, I don't know, you know, just like your everyday squats or something. So really interested in giving this a try. And again, I will let you guys know what I think. Picked up the Dr. Brandt Magnetite Age Defier Skin Recharging Magnet Mask. I have seen so many magnet mask videos on YouTube and I just wanted to try it. I don't know. I don't know. It looked so intriguing. I still haven't opened it, but I think I'm going to use it tonight for the first time and probably film a video on it because I just don't know how anything is this cool. Oh, it has directions when you open. So it says, using the spatula, spread a thin layer, then leave on for five to 10 minutes, wrap magnet with tissue and glide over your face. You obviously get the super powerful magnet. Um, oh, yep, super, super powerful, just stuck to my mirror. And then in here is the mask. So I wanted to see it and maybe smell it and Oh wow, okay. So a lot of the ones that I've seen on YouTube have been those DIY ones and they have big chunks of like iron or something in them. This is very finely milled. It has a very minty smell. Um, I have a feeling it's like a mud mask. It kind of has that like minty mud mask smell. So definitely excited to try this out. This was a $75 mask. So I feel like that 
I mean, I've tried the Glam Glow masks here recently as well. Those were sent to me somewhat recently, and I have a lot of thoughts because I always thought, you know, spending that kind of money on a mask, like, it better do my taxes, walk my dogs, like, that's just a lot of money, you know what I mean? Especially when, like, there are lower-end masks that do really good things for your skin. So I definitely have thoughts on those. I have, I probably will have thoughts on these and you will see that soon, but I thought that was really interesting, really weird, and I'm so excited for a magnet mask. I just wanna be trendy, mom. Oh God, I'm so glad I left the sleeves on these because Rockstar got all over it. But I have all three of these Anastasia Glow Kits. So what happened was for Valentine's Day, my husband got me this pink one and I was so proud of him. I didn't even like drop a hint or anything. This is the That Glow Kit and I haven't used it too many times. You can see I've definitely dipped my finger in these, but you have Sunburst, which is a genuine pale yellow gold. I love highlights like this. You have Golden Bronze, which is more of like a bronzy shade. Really nice as like maybe a blush topper or a bronzer topper. We have Bubbly, which is, you know, your standard true kind of pinky champagne and dripping gold which is more of like that Jaclyn Hill champagne pop um, sort of feel where it's a little peachy a little gold a little everything oh no I was trying to wipe this down and I got water in one of the highlights at least it's water and not energy drink in the highlight because that'll still be okay but then I decided I wound up being so impressed with the few times that I did use the first glow kit that I decided to get the gleam glow kit this one has hard candy which is kind of like a duo chromy pinky highlight with like red shift to it. This is Mimosa, which is more of a gold with a bit more peach than the shade Dripping in Gold in the last palette. Starburst is kind of like that bubblegum pink. I think a lot of these would make really nice blush toppers, but then you have Crushed Pearl, and this spoke to my freaking heart, man. Like, this is the prettiest highlight. Like, oh, can we, can we just not? Like, that is so beautiful. And of course, I had to collect them all, so I decided to also get the Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. Unfortunately, it looks like the spill got the better of this palette. Luckily, it's not in any of the pans. I mean, I did wipe it down, but none of the pans have been touched by the product, so at least there's that. But the packaging will need some time to dry. So in this one, we have the shade Bronzed, and this is like a really deep dark bronze. So this one is more of like a summery palette, very, very warm tone. We have the shade Summer, and that's like a true gold color really beautiful. Tourmaline is kind of taupey. Um, actually, I'm really interested to see what that looks like swatched. That's an interesting color. Okay, it comes off as more of like a peach than anything. It's right there, maybe a little bit of a bronzy peach. And then we have Moonstone, and that is a beautiful, beautiful peachy gold. I love these highlighting shades. I love the Anastasia Glow Kit so much, but I probably need to calm down in terms of highlighters because, um, I don't know, maybe I'll be talking about a product sometime soon that would be my favorite highlight of all time but I guess we'll see we'll wait we'll see it might be lit it's probably lit this is a hair turban and now I've never really heard of a hair turban before this is a $30 freaking hair towel so it better do some things but it's like a really special turban I don't even know how to put this on my freaking head um, but it's supposed to make your hair dry faster. It's supposed to be better for your hair than like traditional towels I usually especially when I let my hair air dry will dry it with like a t-shirt just so it won't get too frizzy I'm not very high maintenance in terms of things like that But I was just so curious and I was on again this weird like buying binge with strange makeup and just beauty products in general So I will give this a try. Um, they have it in a few different colors, but a $30 towel $30, that is absolutely ridiculous. But it says on the back here, your hair needs tender care just like your hands and your heart. Hair is its most delicate and vulnerable to damage when wet. So for hair that shines with natural health, you need to care for it like a baby. Be gentle, don't rub it the wrong way. <laughs> Now that they've said treat it like a baby, this is just weird. Don't blast it with too much heat. Just wrap it and let our super absorbent turban do the rest. Um, so, I don't know. I wanted to try it. It's a $30 hair towel. I will definitely let you guys, guys know if it's like worth that kind of money. Something tells me it's not going to be, but I'll try it out. I decided I wanted to try out the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, this is a really expensive powder. I have not yet tried it, actually. But I'm going through some other things. I really like my Airspun powder that I can get at the drugstore for like seven bucks and I just wanted to see if there was really that much of a difference like why you would want to pay that much money for a high-end translucent powder because I'm currently using one um, from IT Cosmetics actually that I do like. Do I have this up here? It's the Bye Bye Pores and while I like it I just feel like my drugstore one does the same thing you know what I mean? So I'm just curious to see if this one is really good or if I'm 
missing out on anything because I listen to all of those big beauty gurus who just tell me that I need everything that they're using. I also wound up getting the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara and I'm really pumped because Marc Jacobs and I recently got into contact and they sent me some new products but I did buy this. This is one of their newer mascaras and I quite liked what people were saying about it. It's a very like standard brush uh, maybe a little bit on the thin. It had great reviews online and I'm always game for trying new mascara so that will be my next one when I am through with my current one. Don't want to waste anything. I have this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. <laughs> and um, actually I had this shade before. I had it for about three weeks and my dog got a hold of it. I only got to use it one time but I really really liked the color of it a lot especially for fall. I think it's a great like kind of brown base to nude without being too brown because I can't wear like True Brown K or something by Kylie Cosmetics, you know, like that doesn't look good on me, but I do think shades like this with a bit of mauve, a bit of something different to the formula do look good. And I love the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. They are totally worth your money. For sure, one of the few high end liquid lipsticks that I think is worth like $20. There are some brands that I'm just like, girl. <laughs> You are crazy, but this is a really, really good formula and I really like the color. I'm pissed about this because I finally picked up Becca's Flower Child Blush. This is their mineral blush in the shade Flower Child, like I said. And right after I bought this, they came out with these split pans with half Flower Child and half um, Champagne Pop. And I was just like, dang it, but I have so many Champagne Pops, honestly. So it's probably fine. Um, but I really liked the way the Flower Child looked for like summer and I know we're really getting into fall now, but... That is the blush right there. Really pretty. It's kind of like an everyday natural flush. Adds a lot of shimmer. Reminds me a little bit of like maybe MAC Spring Sheen. Like more pink than that, but that's kind of the vibe that I get. I also wound up grabbing this Anastasia liquid lipstick. I do like that Anastasia, Anastasia formula a lot. Like I didn't like them when they first came out. They were okay. I still have some of the OGs, but their newer formula is really good. And this shade is called Crush. Um, and I originally got this when I wasn't sure about the Kylie Cosmetics lip kits. And I think that someone said this was similar to Coco K maybe. I'm not sure what, it may have been ginger now that I'm looking at it, but I just really loved the color of that. Thought it would be a nice, slightly deeper neutral for fall. Um, these feel like straight mousse without being like that thick texture. They're so soft and so comfy to wear over the course of the day. So speaking of lip products, I did grab the Too Faced Lip Injection in the shade Spice Girl. I remember really liking the Too Faced Lip Injection, like the OG formula, um, and I liked... I don't know. I'm always looking for like new nude glosses to throw in my purse and I liked the color of this on the website. Um, I just used the wrong side of the doe foot, but that's the shade right there. It smells very minty. Um, already feels kind of tingly on my hand. These lip injections from Too Faced are no joke. So I'm really excited that they came out with more colors and stuff like that. I don't like to wear just like a clear lip gloss on the day to day. I think that this will be a nice like nude, especially with it being a little bit more sheer just over my natural lip color. But if you are not someone who likes that sting and that like bite in lip plumping products, then you will not like this formulation. And I do not recommend it for you, but I recommend it for myself because I have kind of thin lips and sometimes I like them to be a little bit plump but I'm afraid of needles and I don't think that I want lip injections. Real ones anyways. I'm always down for cosmetic ones. Getting towards the end here, I got this little kind of value set, um, gift set, whatever, from Burberry. Burberry did one of these little value kits last year and it had kind of similar products with different colors. It had a one of these um, fresh glow, like luminous liquid highlight things. And then it had one of these lipsticks, but this one is in a different shade. This is like a matte kind of everyday darker nude color. And the color that you get in this particular set is the shade Rosewood. And I just, I don't know, I love colors like that. Clearly you can see kind of what I gravitate towards just by swatches on my hand. You also get in this little kit a blush. And this is in the shade number two. I love the Burberry blushes so, so much. Oh, that's so pretty too. That'll be a beautiful kind of everyday fall color. So you get a lipstick, like a liquid highlight. Um, and then you also get that blush and a little teensy tiny baby Burberry brush. That's kind of, I mean, it's, it's whatever. It's like a little kabuki. It would actually be pretty good for contouring. Maybe not for like blush, but pretty good for contouring. I did wind up renewing my VIB Rouge status. So I got the new VIB Rouge gift for 2K16. This is a like exclusive NARS blush in the shade Golu. Um, I know you can buy it or you can get it when you spend enough to renew your VIB Rouge status through like 2017 or whatever and obviously I'm an addict of Sephora but this is just a little mini size and it was free so again this is kind of a deeper nude um you can really see like I stick to these sorts of shades of blushes but this is Golu down here 
really, really pretty. I love NARS blushes, and that was kind of a nice little perk for how much freaking money I spent. Then last but not least, I wound up picking up the Sephora Rose Cleansing Wipes, and this is because I love the Sephora um, face mask in the rose scent, in the rose like whatever. I think that it's such a good hydrating mask, and I decided I wanted to try the cleansing wipe. So this will be the next wipe that I try. Actually, I will try one right now on the back of my hand while I wrap this haul up. Okay, they feel really, really nice and thick, and it's super hydrating. Um, it's not really breaking down like liquid lipstick, but I think it would make a nice hydrating um, wipe if you don't feel like washing your face or whatever, if you just need a little bit of a refresh. It really is so, so nice. And this was like, not too much for the pack of 25. So, and it smells like roses. And I love the smell of roses. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. If you guys want more looks at maybe some of the things that are looked past in Sephora, some of the really weird, really expensive, like is this even worth the money sort of things, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. Again, I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time.